welcome. Sup, dudes. Got some cool stuff going on. I was watching a video by Geomodel. The Geomodel, I believe, on YouTube, talking about Mariana Trench. And he pointed out how effectively this plate is going underneath this plate and going down and reaching a point where then it def essentially deflects off resistance seemingly and then goes along at, a, at like 400 kilometers or something depth underneath this <clears throat> and I know this area is younger than the surrounding area in spite of in spite of this that it's mapped as being older like in 200 kind of range 180 I think it's said to be in that range like 180 in the Western Pacific but the reality is it's more like 110 where the surroundings are older like these blue regions are actually like Jurassic one like 50 something so what's going on what are we doing I it just kind of led to a train of thought that I'm like wait a minute Hmm. I kind of need to just share it. It's related to Hawaii. Maybe I'll turn this. It's related to Hawaii and the opening of the Pacific. So I don't know. I guess we should get into details. Gotta get into details. One of the details that will be relevant is that at one point in the past, Sulawesi, North Malaku were physically bonded to California. Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, before it opened, were physically bonded to Baja, California. And Philippines were bonded to like this region. Um, with some nuance in terms of it, this happening while accretion is occurring, especially in the, the Pacific Northwest region, over here in Alaska, and definitely some new this this portion just kind of ignore that that's been changed since then. It's kind of more so here. So this is gonna come into play. What else do we need? We need this one. Generally like the like this. It was like this. Where India was connected adjacent over here where along the Nepal really and possibly some other places I'm not sure what the probably China like a portion of China basically where the Himalayas are that portion of uh, crust south of the Himalayas before it deformed and all of the nuances happened was physically abutting down here. See my last several videos. And this all was kind of, was together as one piece, like connected up to the North Pole of the time, literally this point over here was essentially the North Pole at a time, it seems. And this, I swear we're getting somewhere. I'm just kind of not like fully, just 
winging it, thoughts occurring to me. Um, I need, I need the Australian Ammonites. I guess I'll bring this over. Australian Ammonite. Where is it? There it is. So in the flood currents and the expanding Earth process that this is all happening within. So these details are happening within the, the global flood as, as described in many narratives. Which is dated geologically unknown to modern science from 541 million years to basically the Holocene, the end of the Ice Age. That period of time was the flood. And during that, all of the geological details from 541 to the end of the, or the beginning of the Holocene, or the, basically the, when the Ice Age, like, stabilized. Things stabilize, which is the end of the Ice Age. <clears throat> that process, current flows were flowing from Pakistan, where a vortex weapon was used to attack ancient Dwarka, as written of in uh, Piranhas and... Uh, I'm not even sure anymore which text exactly talks about Dwarka in Hindu scripture. Um, but that attack uh, caused the city to be sunk underwater, and that's basically all it says, and as well as a fierce vortex arose, blanketing the region with billowing dust. But what it doesn't mention is that vortex reached to space and funneled energy into the earth and basically caused the flood and um, caused the earth to expand to a new radius like a popcorn like a nut under heat kind of thing I believe the Colburn Bible describes it in the doom shape which is also that thing but in the process energy flows concentrated in Australia region, which was around the North Pole, where then off of that spun an eddy, like, off of it, though. Not centered on it, but off of it over here, where the North Pole was really up here. The eddy was actually, like, around here, pretty much. Kind of... Like here is here. Cross that way. It's pretty much not, maybe not even up to it. Maybe more so around the brace. That would make sense that this was part like a brace. A backstop that is eddy. formed in the process but there's so many things that I'd like to go through so this thing formed initially like a central ring over like this so let's see if we can find some of my other Also, this the new the actual present nucleus of Australia is more like here, but that's uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see. I have an Australia. What's going on in Australia? Circular feature.
But, uh, anyway. Before I get distracted too much, this thing formed generally like a core and an outer shell, like an actual like, ring, kind of more ring-like structure that, that generally had a boundary, like, around it. But then that, the reason I say that is because then the current got into it through a, a channel of a siphuncle path because it's forming an ammonite because that's how they form is by current flows. Not fossils at all. And it flows in and it basically etches out the structure to form an a ammonite structure by just eddying within the space. But that then takes material out of the space and, and exhausts it this way, which then goes over here. Over here. <laughs> over here. Out this way. Over here. And at this point, we have a sphere that has formed in the flood that uh, and the Earth's expansion process that is basically rolling along below the crust not above the crust yet but it comes over here where it starts to emit a jet away from it that ends up uh, going this way like this here ends up going this way folding out here, forming this snow angel thing, bringing Hawaii, which is what it would be, this sphere, th bringing this sphere of Hawaii, the, specifically bringing the sphere that would become Hawaii over here, where it goes up this way along this path, running all the way, what ended up going though, to the North Pole. running in though here before the earth expanded underneath here but when it did that it did it actually over here because it really like bowed out this region like the compass thing again to form this area where it was more like this across portion before the philippines like up further north this was folded in over here and then actually this is Papua New Guinea at a time until it folds, rotates over here and reattaches down here. <clears throat> but then the sphere goes in here, like physically into and on underneath the crust over here, where then it gets ejected out here and goes down this way, decaying out on top of the surface of the oceanic crust and then running into resistance and going this way and this way in two bends so it bends once here and it bends again around here just a little like it's not in line there so there's two bends really even though generally it's just said to have one there are two bends um, the reason that matters is because of what's going on here. So, like, we've got the opening of the Pacific relating to this all. And then I'm looking at this Mariana Trench thing, and it gets me thinking. Because it's underneath, it makes me think. Like, this region... Be essentially, what I'm saying is physically this sphere goes this way, deposits its material here, runs into resistance, goes this way, and goes this way. But when it's doing that to the west, right ad adjacent to this, to the west of it, is not like all, all this stuff 
it's actually stuff over here. Like it's running into here. So it runs into here at the bend. Let's see how well that, that aligns with that like portion of the Mariana Trench where it starts to arc here. Kind of, it even goes in a little bit and then now I said maybe, maybe, uh, and also where this arc kind of goes furthest out, which is definitely related. And this is where it runs into the Philippines, creating the Apopka caldera, which is the largest caldera on Earth. At an appropriate radius, mind you. And then it runs into the resistance, though, and deflects along it over here, where it runs into resistance down here, and deflects along it. I'm not sure how much of this is actually rolling along this. And essentially my thought is it's physically running into, especially the Philippines there, but running into resistance that is opening the Pacific by pushing the land masses away which then physically moves it, but then over here, there's a current flowing out of here that's going up this way into the Antong Java Plateau region, into East Mariana Basin here, and then underneath Mariana Trench. So there's this current flow coming from over here that's able to flow under the Mariana Trench, it seems. that um, what was I getting at? Like is, that's forming uh, this region, but then it goes under. And this area is all when did the Philippines Philippine plate form? Just a based on this AI response, obviously not that trustworthy, but 54 to 48 million years, 50 to 52. Let's see what this one says. 60 to 65, 54 to 48. So generally that time frame in, in 40, 45, that time frame when this, the Pacific Sea, or the Pacific Sea Plate, this whole region dates in that time frame. So imagine a sphere is rolling this way and hits here at 47 million, 48 million at the time of the bend. At the time of the bend, it hits here and then it starts going away, but none of this is there yet. So it's kind of got like this back, almost like it then applies a force into the sphere, creating this like pressure against it in the process. And maybe it rolls down here while things are moving apart to then go uh, like be um this bend over here because it kind of just reaches out and touches it and if you really look at this if we do this and just draw a line like from this center to up here but then keep going. So we're generally like where this energetic arc begins and ends here and just kind of go upward.
is very closely related to this area. Directionally. This is pointing right over here. More exactly. Like along, along this. Th this way. Here. So the Hawaiian sphere rolled under here to here, hit the pole. They like literally, the energetic pole hit it and like shook the earth pretty much. And then it started going this way where this started to shoot it that way. But then it's, um, flowing along here underneath and along here while it's really over there it's like this whole region opened up or something like a current flow maybe squeezed in here like we were talking about Asia, geology, map, whatever. Looks kind of right here. Kind of like the Terran Basin Shallogram parent Salmonite. Okay, what was I specifically getting at? So my thought was, let's kind of summarize. Somehow, somehow, on the west side of this, even if it's just pressure-oriented, like not actually direct pressure, like this, this sphere is rolling and it's pushing into basically like some water, some other materials that are then pushing into across a distance this area if it's not able to be like actually physically adjacent where like it runs into here and creates that it still could apply a just like a a force at a distance by transmitting it through some, basically like some kind of pillar of like particles that are under so much extreme pressure that they're perfectly balanced with the system in front of them and just creating like a pillar that's almost reaches out and pushes against or an arm or whatever like a something some extension that makes it so the sphere as it was moving maybe it didn't directly interact because it does seem like it was too close it would be too close to be it literally have had a sphere here that was like launched as it's rolling like it's going this way it's rolling along here and as it's rolling here 
this is starting to open and it like runs into this point here but that's really over here and then it starts to like slingshot open and then really slingshot open and then it like shoves it over into here where then it bounces again off of it and then rolls off this way going along this direction to like straighten this all out and like sh get it to shove over there like certainly there's some of that going on but i don't know if it's necessarily directly at a distance it could be like happening you know, staggered like all the way over here while the sphere is rolling over here i don't know in a more direct way though at the time before it, the pacific opened up fully but my thought is like maybe this area right here so if it's doing it maybe this area right here is physically related to this area some so somehow they were overlapping this right here was over here let's just say let's hypothesize for a moment which would really mean, because, like, this stuff was over underneath North America. Which would really suggest this was going underneath North America. Like, along this path, underneath it. And cut, or at least along it, like over here, along it. and But maybe, maybe underneath it where it like came out in this area somewhere it came out this way somehow or came out over here even maybe went here roll and back this way it came out there where it like cut through but really it was following this path it's just as the earth just started to change the path over here started to like push out the boundary maybe and this even like again with like a finger two fingers of current pushing off of this side as it's ripping away here but that's still happening all the way over here maybe and this is all just like an under layer that's kind of what i'm thinking like literally like layers on top one another that at some point these this over here that's forming adjacent to this as this sphere rolls back around 50 million years at this point 80 to 50 million radiometric dating time frame uh in this time frame then it starts it actually fit around 50 48 million 50 it actually severs it at that point, leading to an abrupt change where like the the current flows over here just shoving over to a point where it shoves North America like North America kind of doing that rather than them both opening it shoves one of them open kind of thing relatively which leads to the like the rather than the Pacific having late phase opening of the Pacific over here it did it over here in terms of like the oceanic crust being young over here all of this is young relative to the western Pacific even the 110 million is much older than the Eastern Pacific. So this all happened after. Uh, but also generally in the time frame when the Mariana Trench region is forming. So imagine like over here, the Mariana Trench is forming physically above this. Or over there. At this point. And then it slides the plates off of the plates, pretty much the layers, slides the segmented layer that has been cut It slides it open, revealing already pre-existing under layers 
that this current flow is for depositing on top of so that when it slides off of it, this under layer is already there. But it slides over this way. And then shoves that that way. And then, like, it's still, maybe, my thought is maybe it's still going along, like, this area. So if we go over here and say it hits here at the Philippines, um, but the Philippines were over here, so it hit over here, really, at the Philippines. Even though it hit the Philippines here, which was actually here, which was actually here, or actually or here, which was here. It was actually over here where it hit the Philippines. Because again, layers of material essentially as the earth was expanding, instead of just um, like breaking the shell it physically started to pack in like under layers of material below the crust inclusive of oceanic crust that were under the continental crust and other layers as they started to form that then um, later were exposed like the western pacific uh, let's look at this animation. So, like, here's the Mariana Trench region. Western Pacific was really like this. Under North America over here. So this region was under North America. Notice over here, we're, we're seeing those signs of um, Hawaii's like stuff going on. Here's that arc. Um, the, of Shatsky Rise and Hess Rise. Whichever is which, I can't remember. I feel like Shatsky Rise is the bigger one, but I think this is Shatsky Rise. And there's another something over there. Tamu Massive somewhere in there. But, um, which is the largest mountain on the planet by height, I believe, mountain, maybe volcano. Certainly was a volcano in terms of by definition. Um, but then this region opens, maybe. Like it slides over here. So maybe this is to do with the sliding away. Yeah, let's just say hypothetically this is a thing that happened. <laughs> I mean, it's almost reaching to it, like right to there. It, it almost looks like a continuation. If we follow this wave, it kind of goes up here and like it, like this is maybe off of it. Like, there's a relationship to this area and to this point specifically, then, which is like a it's not random, it's a point like a corner of this of the structure that is a little more pointing to like a actual relationship potentially. I never really thought of the potential that it arcs with that. Like, uh, like this goes up, 
down, up, down. Uh, is it? It's in there. For sure, it's in there. I see an arc going up and through here, up to like a hard stoppage thing, and then generally down across here, which is where Shatsky rises, and up this way to Hess rise over here, to that cut thing over here, which is all filled in over here. So this is like new material in this region. Older stuff that was under layer that this slid o away from. And then we see this going down here. Pretty much along here and then just going down into that region. Applying a current flow this way into here. <clears throat> okay, so um, so on one side, though, we've got that stuff. But then over here, it looks like we've got it running in up here. Going down, uh, maybe underneath this way. And coming out this way. Maybe even on, on the surface somehow. I don't, I don't even know what to think sometimes. It must have been underneath because it's rolling on here. So it's going underneath, breaking up here. Until it runs into the Philippines. Here. Er. Hmm. That does not align. Because really, it running into the Philippines... Should be here. Maybe it runs into the Philippines, continues along a path, until like the resistance builds up, and then here the resistance builds up enough that it actually deflects, but it ran into the Philippines maybe back here more so, at the man, back by the man, and the diamond, like right there maybe it ran into the Philippines. In terms of a long, like actually starting to run into resistance and then the resistance builds up and it breaks all apart here, really probably related to this, although shot, they're definitely older. They're definitely older. There's so many details. It's a... Okay, so this was pre-existing. Okay, just making sure. So pre-existing, we've related this in the past to... Over here, it's, I don't know if I can find those. Where might they be? Somewhere I tried to compare. Here it is, here it is. Cutting here. Oh, 
running along here. Like, as space opens between it, I guess. Maybe. But this cut is really cutting. Over here. Like the Philippine plate. Or the Pacific. I don't know if it aligns. I don't know if that aligns either. There's certainly something going on between relating these. Just like how Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it like moves on top of this. Does this look like does this look like these got like scraped by This fl going over here. Hmm. And it's pushing this past. Also, it's pushing to the equator. There's the equator. Literally taking it from the pole to the exact equator. What is this at? 19. <clears throat> But I was thinking, if it runs in there, goes over here, basically goes down to here, along along this boundary, along Philippines, and along this boundary, to this point, if it goes to this point, let's just say it went to this point, just out of curiosity, but not here, over here, it went to this point, along the Philippines, along... Uh, North Malaku and Sulawesi, and then it reaches that point over here. It reaches like around here, I believe it was, like above this this system. So like right here, right around here, it reaches here. Let's imagine now that it's cutting these plates apart that are overlaying one another, these layers that find the column plates. That's kind of like a adequate term, even though plate tectonics is false. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, we could have some more music, maybe. Try this one. Um. But imagine then it gets over there. But in, when it gets over there, it's getting... It's really getting, like, over here. And what do we see over here? But like, eh, like drilling in right there, and then, eh, like skipping over, eh, and then if we go back to kind of here, kind of even all of this in some way. So 
So it's like it starts cutting across there. But really, at that point, the sphere has stopped rolling around here, like around this location where it ran into resistance over here. And then the, the ocean floor starts to flow in beyond it over into this area and just space them apart. Like along this path, pretty much from there. So I guess it, it was probably part of the current flow then. Like, literally. It got brought over here, boom. And then it kept, go the current flow kept going along specifically um, this path down here where it ran into this other current and went this way. Maybe? Or did it run into that current and this current went around it up through Baja and that way? It may be that this current is, I'm not sure. I think the motion is that California is moving north. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay, so on this side is basically where the Hawaiian sphere current flows are going down along the Philippines. Coming out here in this area, coming out, I don't know if it was underneath or what, but where the current essentially went around it, like was going this way, ran into it, and just went around it and cut through this way, and down this way, while another current coming out this way, like ran into it from the other side, so it filled in this current coming in this way, like, led to pressure filling in this area, and then this current coming down this way led to, like, a, a boundary, pretty much, between them, which then ended up being where the, like, actual emissions are from, in terms of, well, I'll find it soon, why is it none of these... terms of this like a current flowing in this way and another current flowing down this way where effectively this current divides off this way here this current maybe goes up and maybe goes off over there but generally this way and their interactions leads the current this way. That's probably what's going on. There's current going this way and current going this way that were at one point more so running into each other, which was then leading to a current flow through the Caribbean specifically, cut it, cutting the terrains apart. <clears throat> so it probably is a current flow this way. Whereas the other way just ballooned out the reach and so it didn't lead to like a fracture like that, is my guess.
And then it directed the current over here, though, from up here. So it seems the the Hawaiian sphere current went generally this way over to here. Well, maybe even going underneath here in this area largely, but like pushing the boundary so that this other current had to go around it this way. Just leading to these boundaries. Where then at the boundary emissions were like upwelling from essentially. I find it really peculiar that there are these. There's clearly a current flow going right in there. And it aligns with the position of where Hawaii is now pretty well. They are on the other side of the mid-Pacific mountains. So it seems that as it rolls, Dong, and then it rolls this way along here. It's physically rolling, but the Pacific plate underneath it is sliding out because the mid Pacific mountains are on this side of Hawaii. But they were over here underneath North America on the other side. So they got shifted from this side to this side as it's turning and going sideways here. Over here, it's literally on this side. It's like pointing pretty much like at the nose of the mid Pacific mountains, generally. And it's flowing towards that area, but then dong, it hits this resistance. <laughs> like my, uh, Gong sound that's dong. <laughs> Shifts it out though, so it's suddenly going this way along the boundary. seems to be related to like over here the bend like specifically around here which was uh. whoa could it have gone into this? Because the Philippines would have been here. This would have been folded in somewhat, but it might have been like having current flow behind it to open it up. And if this sphere is coming along, runs past the Philippines, hits it, and then runs into, but still keeps going, and runs into here. And maybe goes through it. To ultimately, or goes over here, to ultimately reach here. And going along the Philippines, Sulawesi along here. Long, uh, but literally along here, and then along here to reach here. But it was at that point along this direction, which was over here. <laughs> I know it's complicated and fucking ridiculous. Like, oh my god, how could this be? Does seem like a freaking sphere though. Meow. Oh, it'd be so cool if it even like rotated. Meow. Did all this while just moving like this. 
like something just rotating. Held stationary, but then rotating about the thing. But it's rolling, but then the thing, like, it's rolling along, but then Australia, like, basically pivots around while it's rolling in a way where as it's pivoting, it's actually rolling through this area in some, like, really curious way, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe it goes in here. But this ends up being different at the time. <laughs> Let's see, does this did this form around forty five million years? Not sure what it's called. I don't want to clean. Would you pop up now? Not from clean, dude. <laughs> Gulf of Bonnie. I did see a promising age range. Not here. History. Around fifty, sixty million Australian plates started to push northwards into the Eurasian plate, causing folding and faulting of the seabed. Could it be a ramp? This motherfucking sphere done did ramped. Oh no, it didn't. This way, a ramp. Like in this area? <laughs> Like, leaving very little evidence here. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. It looks too potentially like the sphere went there to not want to think about it more. I could do 3D imagery. Like instead of a 2D image, I could just draw on a 3D plane. <laughs> Surface, not plane. <laughs> I 
probably do cutouts or something. Something. Because I'm thinking that it was heavily layered. What exactly the circumstances were is still a little foggy, but it was definitely heavily layered. And it seems like or the sphere of Hawaii went this way into this area along North America and played a role in the opening of the Pacific as it has it rolled and along this area so they must have been pretty close but I don't know if they had to be that close because it might have just been that energetic of a process but then like it's not like it's doing that over everywhere. Although over here, it also just ran into the North Pole area where it seems to have been flung by the Earth energetically, maybe adding a lot of momentum to the system, energy, kinetic energy to the system added at this point that really propagated into the surroundings more so than it did as it was going to the pole, leaving the pole way more energy of a process in terms of the sphere opening the Pacific. Definitely something to the Mariana Trench aspect of it thinking just because it goes underneath down and then keeps going that there was a current flowing that flowed into it went down and under I don't understand the age discrepancy like this was 10. So this would seem to have already happened, and then this just overlays it, which doesn't really make sense for why it would be down and across like it is. For this one to be influenced by this one is a little weird. Since this one's already like pre-existing, it sinks from its density, and that's pretty much all that plate tectonics would be like, well, it's not weird because it sinks from its density at the end. In terms of its structure, like it has a bed. It basically has a bed for this to exist in. How does it have a bed for this to exist in? It was malleable and pushed down, I, which would suggest that it just kind of filled it. It slid across and then just pushed down into it once it like found its resting place, maybe, which happened to be a at this, at, it just happened to be here. It wasn't really related to it, although that's kind of doesn't make sense either. Like, it's clearly related to it. In the midst of this whole structure is the Mariana Trench. I don't think so. Clearly a relationship, too. Maybe it just moved it. Like it took it from this side, opened this whole thing, but in so doing, moved it its center, and then moved Australia over here, which was above this region, generally abutting here, before the accreted terrains of North America that basically form between Australia and North America and Laurentia, but attached to Laurentia. So they became part of the North America, not Australia. Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> like maybe it went down through here. I don't know. Like around here. Zeppelin. Okay, that's not. <laughs> that little riff is Led Zeppelin, though. Pretty heavily. Pardon me, sir. I just don't want it to be like a Led Zeppelin song. It's not though. <laughs> but they're like, well, it's got the, it's got the things. I really think it seems to have some structure through there. Like it just did that. Some kind of layering that is hard to decipher. So I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Hope that was uh, something. Uh, I'm trying to think if I had anything else to add. Whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.